what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're looking at windows 11 advanced boot menu options and how to access those there's multiple ways we can access the windows 11 advanced boot options this will also work with windows 10 so if you're still on windows 10 you can still use this method as well so first up let's access windows 11 by using our settings panel here so first click start go to your settings panel and once you're inside here you want to make sure you're on system and then click on recovery once you click on recovery uh, it's going to take you to this window here and you should see where it says advanced startup so click on restart now and this will reboot your pc when you click on restart now and it will then take you to your advanced menu options so i'm going to click on this one here you'll get a restart like this one here and then you will get this window and then you should see the blue screen for the advanced options here so pretty simple way to get into this options here where you can now use troubleshoot and you can navigate around here and use this to fix pc problems and other things like that so when you click on the troubleshoot area you should get access to all your reset this pc advanced options startup repair and so on so let's move on to the next one here hold the left shift key down and restart your computer continue to hold the left shift key down while your PC is restarting and you will then be taken back to that same advanced menu location. So I've speeded this process up a little bit, but you should see something looking like this as it reboots. And uh, once we get here, we should now see choose an option again. You can go down to troubleshoot and you'll have the same features to get to reset this PC and advanced options where you can do all of your startup repair and command prompt and all those other good stuff. So let's try the third option here, which is using your command prompt to access Windows 11 boot options. You can do this as well. So let's open up command prompt by going to the search box, type in CMD, and we can now open command prompt and run this as administrator. So go over to the right here, click on run as administrator. You should now see the user account control box pop up, say yes to this one, and up will come your command prompt box. From here, we're gonna type out a simple command which is shut down space forward slash R, space forward slash zero, space forward slash F, then space forward slash uh, T, then space zero zero. Push enter once you've got this typed out, and this will take you into the advanced boot menu. So I'm just going to push enter here on this command, and you should see up on the screen it will say successfully done, and your system will reboot, and you'll get the same uh, method of booting into uh, your advanced boot options here there we go we're back into choose an option you can go into troubleshoot here and reset this pc and advanced options and all that other good stuff inside there so that's the other way of doing it and i will show you another way so this is the fourth method which is using the command prompt again and we're going to type a different command this time to get into the same location this time you will need to restart the pc once you've done your command so go into a command prompt by typing CMD and run as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and up will come the command prompt box here. And now we can type out this command, which you see here. What this will do is it will trigger uh, the option to get into the boot menu on startup. So what we need to do is type this out. I'll leave all this information in the video description for you. And once you've done this, we will need to physically uh, restart the system ourselves so push enter you should see operation was successful we can now close off the command prompt box here and then what we can do is restart our PC so let's go ahead and do that so close this off and then just restart as you would normally do and this will take us straight into that option here so I'll speed this process up a little bit there we go and here we are at the choose an option again got the same features reset this PC, advanced options, and all the other good stuff inside there. Now the next method is using your recovery disk. You will need to create a recovery disk. I made a video about recovery disks the other day, and uh, everyone should have a recovery disk. They're very useful, and uh, they will help you get into the advanced boot menu as well. So you need to type recovery inside your search box here, or recovery drive, and open up the application and create this so you can see backup system files for your recovery drive as well you can go through and make sure you've got a flash drive 
uh, inside the PC and create that. Once you boot to this, you will see something looking like this, recover the drive, and you'll have a, another bunch of options inside here like troubleshoot. It will look slightly different because this is a recovery drive and this can be used to uh, recover from an image or start repair, command prompts, uninstall updates, and other useful stuff like that. Number six is doing it via the hard uh, reboot method. This is basically forcing down a shutdown on the PC by holding the power button down. I'm on a virtual machine here, but after you've done that two or three times, you will get diagnosed in your PC. This is not the recommended way of doing it, but if you've got problems with your PC when it boots up, it will give you this option where you'll be able to get to automatic repair. Go to advanced options here, and it will take you straight into here. And this will allow you to run your startup uh, repair here or reset this PC. And it was built into Windows, and I think it's a great option that Windows have added in to help you get into this option much more easier because if your PC don't boot and it keeps crashing, it will get you in there after two or three times. So number seven will be using your Windows installation media. You can boot to your Windows installation media. If you've created one, you would need to go to the Microsoft website and create a bootable USB media with Windows 11 or Windows 10 on it. You will see something like this. You can then click on next at this level here. So go next and you will then see install windows. Now you don't want to click on the install. Now you want to repair your computer, click on repair your computer. And this will take you straight to choose an option where from here you can now go into troubleshoot and use your startup repair command prompt, uninstall updates and, and whatnot inside there. So very, very useful. So that is using your windows installation media. Also, when you're at the login screen here, if you hold your left shift key down and then click on restart, this will get you into that same advanced uh, boot options menu there as well. So let me just quickly uh, show you this as well. So this will take us into there and that shouldn't be too much longer. So just let it shut down. It does take a little bit of time on a virtual machine. So I'll try to speed this up as quick as possible for you. But basically, this is the same as doing it from the desktop. But you might not be able to get to the desktop. And this is why I'm showing you this one at the login screen here. And you should see the screen popping up here. Choose an option. And there we go. There is the troubleshoot here and give you access to all of the same features. So these are all the ways that you can get into the advanced boot menu uh, on Windows 11 and Windows 10. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all the people who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Also, if you haven't joined our Discord server, the link will be in the video description. There is people over there that will help you with minor PC problems, or maybe you just want to chat about technology, or you've got some questions. The link's in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.